One of Seattle's oldest neighborhoods is missing what first made it historic in the first place, people of color. For the first time in decades, the black population in the Central District zip code is less than 10%. And now a local businessman is looking to change that. Shante Sumter has a story about his mission to bring black back to the community. Shante? Well, the changes to the Central District did not happen overnight. Data shows the black population has been dropping drastically for the past 50 years. I talked to people who grew up in the area and remember a neighborhood with a close knit community and well known black owned businesses. I also sat down with a local real estate developer who is hoping to make those former memories a reality in the Central District again. You've been here well, 50 years, so you saw the transformation. Well, yeah. you know, uh, Dino's and Oscar's and all them places are gone. Yeah. Uh, Helen's gone, Thompson's gone. It's just everybody's gone. The barber shop, a place for community. At this moment, a place to reminisce. I remember where it used to be all kind of uh, black restaurants. Growing up on 20th and Union, Earl Lancaster has been a barber in Seattle Central District since the 80s. The neighborhood was beautiful, you know. You, if you needed some support or somewhere to go, you just go right down the street to your friend, your family, you can get it. The neighborhood has changed since then. It's gentrified and um, it's a lot of people you don't know now who live, on, live in the central area. Historical records from the city show at one point in the 1960s, the central district was made up of 90% black residents. Over decades, that number has dropped drastically, while the number of white people moving to the area increased rapidly. Most recent U.S. data shows the once thriving black community is now less than 10% of the Central District zip code. Everybody left, uh, left the district for the prices price of the buildings and stuff, yeah. New development, increased property taxes, forcing people and business owners south. No, it doesn't happen overnight, right? This is over a 10 to 15, 20 year period that, that you know, that it takes place. You know, and I remember coming, coming to Seattle in the early mid 90s and get my hair cut by Earl when he was at Midtown Center, you know, when I was just a young pup. Jebediah Gardner says all hope isn't lost. His company brought two properties on 23rd and Union to create more affordable housing with hopes that some of the people pushed out can afford to come back. To see the change in the neighborhood now, you know, this is the, the, one of the biggest reasons why we're doing the work that we're doing. The Mount Calvary Church and the teen center across the street will transform into apartment buildings with about 350 units. It's all about wealth building, right? It's all about trying to chip away at the egregious wealth gap that exists in, in America um, and trying to make sure that black Americans get a piece of that wealth that we've been traditionally disenfranchised from from so many years. As the Central District continues to change, one thing that remains is the art. A reminder that the culture is still here. We're still here, you know what I mean? And so um, a lot of what's important for us is to make sure that, that we show folks the other side of the table, which is, you know, this is the positive side of making sure you elevate not only just black voices, but, but black wealth and, and black opportunity. Jebediah says it will take at least a year and a half before they start construction on the new buildings. However, he hopes the work his group is doing will inspire other people to get involved. Some really important work there too. The mm -hmm. Central District, so rich in tradition. This is about just bringing it back. And there's a lot of improvements, of course, that have been made, but also mm -hmm. this effort to bring more black people into the community that once was 90% back in 1960, and now it's 10%. I am just it's startled incredible. by that statistic. Right. One thing uh, Jebediah said was, it's not like it's gone, it's just been diluted. So yeah. I like when he kind of put that, mm. put it that way. So, you know, he's just working to make sure that more voices are heard mm -hmm. and more people have an opportunity out in that area. Yeah, Absolutely. and it's important, important for that community. Thanks, Shantae. Great story this morning.